This is Fios Joe Master. And Lulu. All right, y'all. This will be our final Casper reaction because we heard the news. That's right. I, I wasn't believing it at first because they posted nothing online. I guess Swedish Idol does not post the performances till like a couple of days after the actual live performances, which is very different in the U.S. Usually the live performances go up, boom, Live, instantly. right away. Yeah, right, like right away. So I didn't know actually what was happening here. But enough of y'all at this point have said the same thing, that he did not make it to the finals, that it was actually two ladies who made it to the finals. One of them we never even reacted to, and I feel like it must have been a long shot here, Paulina. But uh, we'll check her out separately in another video. But, you know, this one's just for all the Casper fans who came along for the ride with us and uh, been having a great time following this dude. One of a kind. That's right. I mean, like, just so original. It is. That is the reason why we love him because there's a lot of artists out there. It's just the same thing. Yeah, cool voice, really powerful. But him is just super unique. Yeah. Totally. Everything. Everything. <laughs> the way he sings has a distinct flavor. Um, the way style. he interprets songs. That, yes. His style. Yep. Um, even his demeanor, you know, like sometimes with people who act like that, the way he does on stage, he's very formidable, very cocky even. But when he's not, he's just like really shy, playful, almost like a 10 year old kid up in there, like, you know, who's won, you know, the lottery kind of thing, right? Or a bag of candy over Halloween, just giddy with happiness. Just an interesting character, and I like that. Despite his dominance, I actually felt like he was always uh, the underdog, Aren't just because he was such a unique flavor. Like, right. I just can't imagine him being someone who could win. And I thought, he could do it. He could do it. And it just feels like, unfortunately, the people that we back, the people that we believe in don't do well. So maybe we are the curse. Oh, really. no. Maybe we are the ones who... Hey, don't say that. Is it? <laughs> okay, maybe... Th really maybe... How about we're not going to react to the next show? <laughs> well, this might be the last time we actually react to just about any show. I think, you That's, know, ongoing, we're thinking about actually changing up the format for what we're doing here online. So this might just be our last Swedish Idol reaction. It mm -hmm. kind of depends, you know. For those of you who came along with us for the journey so far, subscribe to us. Thank you so much to those who came along because of Casper. I'm glad we went on this journey with you all. But, um, you know, I, I think like Casper, you know, we need to take things to the next level. You know, That's this right. was that period in life that we enjoyed but what is the next thing and i think 2021 there'll be some mm. explosion <laughs> what explosion you talk it's not like no nut november here you know, <laughs> on december 1st suddenly explosion that's right no, 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 no. i'm just i'm just talking about it, it's time to take things to the next level new new things await us in casper wow <laughs> well said john lee <laughs> All right, how about one final encore <laughs> performance here with Caspar singing Bang Bang? I'm not sure which song he's saying. I don't think it's the... Ariana and Jesse... Well, Jesse J wrote a song called Bang Bang, which was hugely popular. But that was like a all-female pep rally song, which and he's singing a lot of female songs and he reinterpret them. Amazing. Mm. I don't think this is it. <laughs> There's also a really, really old song like Nancy Sinatra that I think Angelina Jordan sang before. But right. I don't really think this is that one either. This one is from a group called Monophonics. So... But hey, there's probably cool. a lot of Bang Bang songs <laughs> that have been written over the history <laughs> because you know what? People like the Bang Bang. But the, this might be a wrong song for him to sing on a final. Yeah, maybe it just bang, 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 bang his chances of winning. I don't know. Yeah, that'd be interesting because if we listen to this, maybe this was not the right song choice. And that's why he didn't advance. Mm. So I have a little bit of thoughts about like, you know, what that means uh, in terms of why he didn't make it. But uh, I'll save it till after this uh, Perform. All right, by the way, if you want some cool commentary, check out my podcast, John Master Lee. And if you want some hotness, go check out my OnlyFans page. All righty. Right, let's check this out, y'all. Funky Black Fresh. Oh, hello. Oh. Showing some skin. Right Look at that fashion right there. Wait a minute. What song is this? No, this is the... This is a song I know. Totally reinterpreted here as a um, very wow, funky, I, fly, fresh version. Really? I can't even recognize it. 
Usually so different. Bang, bang, bang. Yeah. Fire and everything. It's finale, baby. He's got to be careful. That suit looks like it would go up in one <laughs> puff of flames right there. <laughs> it looks like polyester. Yeah, this is such a fascinating rendition. I wonder if um, Monophonics reinterpreted it as this way. I know, it's a very different arrangement. I can't even recognize it. It's got a very 70s, funkadelic mod feel to it. Which is why he's wearing that outfit. Ah. I mean, he pretty much looks like the Pied Piper of porn. <laughs> Pimpin. He, he looks like a Pied Piper of Pimpin. Ah, Give me that Pimpin look. That vocals right there. All right, we're going to skip most of the judges' commentary here because, uh, unfortunately, the last couple of reactions we did with uh, judges' commentary, they got blocked in Sweden. So uh, they're getting aggressive with blocking wow. the show now. It's getting towards the finals here. So I might try to repost some of them uh, if I can and get around these, uh, you know, crazy, you know, copyright issues. But uh, yeah, that was a great performance. I, I thought. love it. I actually love it. So I don't know if it was because of the song here. Maybe it's just because of the song. You know, familiarity is very important. Like you said, some of it are just like, oh, what, what's that kind of song? What, what's you the know, flavor? I mean, if there was one challenge, I think, that Casper has had through this whole competition, which is why I, I always thought he was the most fascinating performer, the most distinct, the most stylistically interesting, because he come across as an underdog, right? Mm. His type of music, his approach to everything is very non-conventional, very non-pop. And I think if you're going to go that route, you really have to dial it up to like a level 11. And I don't know these other contestants, but, you know, ones that often go through these competitions tend to be much more mainstream. The songs they pick tend to be more mainstream. Songs that get people emotionally rallied behind them, mm. right? Uh, there's also age demographic, you know, in terms of like how these songs are you know, resonate with people. And this song, I, I swear, like, what, what was the original song? I, I feel like it came out decades ago. The Nancy Sinatra one. Um, 19. I think it came out like in the 60s. Whoa. Yeah. It's the kind of song that well, Angelina Jordan would sing because yes. she sings these old, you know, the jazzy um, yeah. 1960-ish is songs. So, but he does them really, really well too with his own flavor. Like, like I said, you don't even recognize the song. Mm -hmm. It took me a couple of bars to make me go, mm, yeah, now I get it. I think the challenge for him, and it's always tricky with these competitions because, you know, for me, I thought he was a shoe in When I was looking at his numbers online, his views, his views were oftentimes consistently multiple times more than the other contestants. Mm. And I know most of them are from Sweden because most people, besides maybe us, don't follow shows like this in Sweden. Mm. But I did notice that over the course of every single week, the delta between him and the other contestants was getting smaller and smaller. Mm. So in other words, they were catching up. They were building a fan base. And I think as fewer and fewer contestants were um, in the pack, you know, some of them that perhaps, you know, uh, were voted for people that got voted out may have voted for the other contestants, and that's where he lost that on, right? Yeah, so in other words, makes... it may not be in your advantage to be so unique that you don't build a following week after week, mm -hmm. but rather if you're more mainstream, these people will, you know, who follow someone who is very similar to another artist might follow that other artist. That could be. And again, different people could not just like that type of music. So yeah. 
No, yeah. I'm disappointed. I honestly, you know, when I first heard this, I didn't want to believe it at first. I did try to avoid even bringing you into the world of disappointment. But you know what? It's, our fans are very vocal. and They let us know in every which way, <laughs> shape, or form, whether it's text message, Facebook, Instagram, oh online. So, yeah, we now know. Um, uh. So, hey. Sorry, Casper fans. But Casper, you know, you have a great career ahead of you. If you do come tour the U.S., let us know. We would love to check it out if we still aren't quarantined. Yes. How when, when is that going to be, John? I don't know. Hopefully next year with a vaccine. Because we do out. want to go to Sweden, too. That's true. That's the other way we can find out. We've been waiting. Oh, we would love to go to yes. Sweden. All right, y'all. Thanks for following along with us. And until next time. Until next time. Continue to support us. We love you.